In this session, we're going to continue with the interactive tools, working on the fundamentals. And as I said, we're not going into everything in the tools, trying to overload you with information. We want to give you enough information that you can start to work with CorelDRAW X6 effectively after this few hours of video tour tutorials from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. But in this session, I want to take a look at the envelope tool. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here, and I'm going to get my text tool, and I'm going to type in the word envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and change that font up here in the properties bar to freshman. Then I'll go ahead and resize. Envelope also has a docker, and you can get that to effects envelope. And that's over here as a docker. And we'll take a look at that also. First thing I want to do is take a look at the envelope. I'm just going to go ahead and apply an envelope. And you'll see that my cursor changes, and so does my properties bar. We see some nodes and dotted blue lines here, and you can left click and pull these nodes out, and you'll see you get the same control arms as you do when you're working with vector lines, but you're applying a warp or an effect to a vector object. I'm going to hit Control Z, and let's look at some of our constraint modes here. I want to zoom in right here on my object, go back to my envelope tool. Let's look at straight line mode. Now you notice if I am in straight line mode, it's almost like I'm in lines with vector. If I left click and pull, I've got straight lines. You also notice if I left click and hold shift, I'm going to constrain and create the same amount of effect on the top and the bottom. And if I go back out like this, it's the same way. I want to control Z and go back and we'll take a look at our single arc mode and that's going to be arching as you can see here and the same here I'll hit control Z now I was holding down shift to constrain there let's go to double arc and let's take a look at that and hold down shift and bring up this way here and you can see how that affects how your apply your effects are applied now I can come up here and go back to unconstrained mode and I'm just going to be able to move these around freely just like that and edit them as you can see there, like I might want to come over here, lasso, select this node, hold down shift, lasso, select, select this one, hold down control, and pull down this way, and I'm getting a different effect with my envelope. A lot of different things you can do here. You can also double click and add nodes to your envelope. I want to go to my shape tool, and we just want to double click and add a node here. And we've added a node to our envelope. So we can start to create some really wild effects and we can control and manipulate these much like we would our lines and nodes as we learned in our earlier sessions on vector. You can also come up here and click on remove or clear envelope. There are some presets over here from Corel and you can also add your own presets like this one here and I could call this my envelope if you're using an envelope frequently my envelope and save that and then you'll find that in your presets and you'll be able to apply it to anything it's been saved as an envelope preset continue along here you can see we've got the plus and minus if we want to click here and click plus we'll add some nodes there or subtract them either way we just subtracted the nodes many of the same tools that you see when you're working with your lines and nodes up in here can click here to convert this to curves. Once you do that, the envelope that you are working with will be removed and there will be another envelope over your object. I'm going to hit Control Z, go back. I'm going to go ahead and remove this envelope and I'm going to create a simple vector object and that will be a rectangle. And then I'm going to create another simple vector object that's going to be an ellipse. And then I'm going to bring this down here to right about there and we'll go ahead and place that there and I'm going to bring this down in size here and just create an envelope shape I'll do that with my smart fill tool I'll go ahead and grab my smart fill tool and just click here and create a vector shape go ahead and delete these two here now working from the docker or the envelope tool properties bar I can come up and click on let me select this envelope click here create an envelope from 
click on that and you can see that now I could come over here and click on apply in my docker and the envelope created from this vector shape will be applied to my object I could go back to my envelope tool and start to edit that and work with that and tweak with that you notice that when you do apply this way your constraint modes are not available Enveloping I do quite a bit with and very often what I'll do is I'll start to combine effects I might do an envelope here and then go to something like effects and go with add perspective now with add perspective some of the same I can left click hold and start to move my object down but if I hold down sh shift and control I'll apply the same amount of perspective effect to that graphic now I've got an envelope inside of a perspective and this is our perspective tool in Corel Draw X6 and it works very similar to the envelope tool but yet you're dealing with perspective and you can see where your center point is there and now we're starting to give this text some serious depth once again hold down shift and control and you apply the same amount of the effect no matter which direction you're going with and if you want to remove a perspective you can come up here to effects and come down to clear perspective and you go back to what you had before and if you want to remove an envelope once again you can come over here and click on clear envelope and you go back to your original text so go here and wrap on the envelope tool and we'll continue in our next session